here we are. Uh, you're a conservative rabbi. I am. I'm an evangelical pastor. Thank you for coming up to New York to see me. Yeah, and we're in this historic synagogue here. So what what are we doing here? Well, you wanted to talk about the Torah. Yeah. So. <laughs> when the book of Levit Leviticus starts, it says, and the Lord called yeah. Moses. Yeah. And then for the next seven chapters, he describes in details like bleeding out sheep and carving them up and what to burn and what to eat and those things. We obviously aim that through Jesus and view that through Jesus. How do you make sense of it? You gotta ask if I make sense of that. <laughs> do, do you make sense of it? Uh, yeah. yeah. So as a, as a student of religion and a student of the Bible, obviously the, the Torah cares a great deal about these things and so I, I have to try to understand it. But admittedly, ancient people worshiped in a way that is very different from what we do. And, and the power with which the Christian Bible makes Jesus into the Lamb Right, I mean, he is the Isha Reach Nichoach. He is the he is the offering to God of sweet savor. Right, that's mm -hmm. that's the description, and that's it's obviously extremely powerful to the audience to hear that Jesus, uh, you know, on the cross is is the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Modern Jews, you know, I think have less access to the power of that metaphor. Mm -hmm.